Environmental Scanning, a How-To for Nonprofit Organizations by representatives from Shemble Public Library, Thomas Matthews, Caitlin Stever, and Morgan Brett. <clears throat> what is environmental scanning? Simply put, Environmental scanning, or ES, is the process of examining an organization's environment to obtain information that can be used for planning and decision making. <clears throat> Why conduct an environmental scan? As the face of libraries across the country is steadily adapting, the Shemble Public Library sought fit to conduct an environmental scan to assist with the library's five-year strategic plan. By critically examining our population, our users' habits, and the evolving nature of technology, we were able to identify areas of instability and trends and changes that may impact the library. With the assistance of our Board of Trustees, staff, and community volunteers, we gathered information about our community to help shape our policies for the future. The Shemble Public Library has always taken pride in being a resource for our community and anticipating our community's future needs is an essential part of looking forward. Environmental scanning can help you decide what direction you want to take your organization. And here's a picture of Shemble Library as it looks today. <clears throat> Shemble Public Library serves the population of Shemble Village, which is approximately 30,000 people. The library, centrally located in the center of the village, is a busy social hub which hosts uh, dozens of community programs a month and engages with the community outside the library in many outreach events. As of April 2016, 12,234 residents were registered cardholders of the Shemble Public Library, just over one-third of the population. The library prides itself on its high-quality customer service and its diverse collection of over 300,000 items available for patrons. The library is managed by its Board of Trustees, consisting of seven members, who meet every month to discuss library matters. We conducted an environmental scan so that we may develop effective responses which secure and improve our position in the future. We scanned in order to avoid surprises, identify threats and opportunities, gain a competitive advantage, and improve long-term and short-term planning. Environmental scanning is not only a tool for business. Every organization, whether it is a for-profit or a non-profit, needs to be aware of its environment if it wants to be competitive. What do you want for the Acme County Rotary Club to look like in 20 years? Scanning also gives you a multi-dimensional vision. And for all of you Game of Thrones fans out there. At Shemble Public Library, we looked into the future to see what our library would look like. We performed an environmental scan to give us the best possible version of our future. Our environmental scan included internal and external factors. Although we cater to a diverse set of patrons, the most noticeable increases have been in minority usage and in patrons under the age of 18. We do anticipate our population to continue to increase because of community development and new building projects designed to provide affordable housing for our senior citizens. In addition to reviewing statistics related to our population, the library sought feedback from community members through questionnaires 
and a telephone survey of randomly selected library users. Patrons were asked their perception of the library, their frequency of use, and their understanding of what the library offers in terms of materials, programming, and so forth, the offerings they hope to see in the future, and their willingness to support the library financially. Scanning aims to provide the ability to give long-term context on emerging issues and trends. It also covers extrapolations of the past and present, but not future facts, which is up to us to determine. An environmental scan gives your organization the ability to prevent crisis fires before they start. <clears throat> so what exactly do you scan? You scan similar organizations such as bookstores, coffee shops, and internet cafes. Connectors, which are organizations or people that can help bring everything together. Intangibles, that regard your internal and external environment. The environment itself, the economics of it and the demographics. Environmental shifts. And competitors, are you ready to expand? Let's get to the results. In the last decade or so, there have been demographic shifts in our community. While our population size of our county has fallen slightly, the number of inhabitants in Shemble has grown exponentially, raising almost 10% over the last decade. The most notable increase in regards to the population has been in the Hispanic community, which rose from 10.64% to 19.5%. Approximately 23% of the population speak an additional language in their homes. The number of community members over the age of 65 has increased by 2.5% as well. <clears throat> Our library as a social hub. Changing trends discerned through community feedback, we believe that producing a safe and supportive environment for all ages of people is in our and the community's best interest. Through feedback from the community, it is apparent that the, so that the library's place in the community has changed over the last several decades, transforming to fill a more social role. Those surveyed indicated that the library was able to fulfill a social need through giving children and teens a safe place to spend their time in a supportive environment. It also enabled adult and senior members of the community the ability to attend events that highlighted the community's interest and encouraged engagement with other patrons. How this affects our strategic plan. It makes us think long-term about the library's spatial constraints and the possibility of creating more areas designed to act as a community meeting space. It also makes us want to research and implement programs that highlight the library's ability to act as a social hub. The Shemble Library's ability to become a more centralized hub should future-proof our status as the go-to place in our community. <clears throat> One of our big challenges in the past, like most libraries our size, was trying to keep the community. Through collaborative programming, the library has established and maintained relationships with businesses in our community. This reciprocal relationship has led to many discounted or pro bono programs being offered at the library by community leaders and help to highlight their services in the community. How this affects our strategic plan. 
We continue to foster positive relationships with businesses in the Shemble community by utilizing their services over other competitors when possible. It, it also helps us to establish the library as a community hub through which businesses can promote their services by participating in library events on site and in the community. Engagement in the community became a top priority. Our scan drew attention that we needed to be an organization to the top of the technological food chain. <clears throat> Our library as a pioneer of technology. Incorporating new technologies into our programs by keeping abreast of current technological trends. We created more programs by implementing these cutting edge tools and utilizing them in community outreach events. <coughs> Excuse me. Purchasing a 3D printer has been a resounding success in our community. <coughs> Incorporating new technologies into our programs for all ages and into community outreach events has drawn even more people to spend their time in the library. How this affects our strategic plan. Stay up to date on current trends in technology to acquire the innovative and cutting edge tools of the library. We also create more programs that implement these tools and utilize them in community outreach events to entice new patrons. <clears throat> Our library as a center for cultural enrichment. We must continue to build multicultural connections, collections that represent the diversity of our community. The library has always offered programs that highlight our community's rich diversity and help to foster intercultural communication and relationships between residents. As time progresses, the nation will continue to diversify, becoming a plurality of racial and ethnic groups. <clears throat> How this affects our strategic plan. <coughs> Excuse me. The library must continue to build a multicultural collection for its users that represent the diversity of our community. The library must also pursue programming that reflects this diversity and highlights the library's ability to be a welcome space for all of the community, regardless of cultural difference and belief. <clears throat> it also encourages the library to explore the possibility of implementing more ESL classes, English as a second language, to accommodate residents from all backgrounds. <clears throat> our community, our library is our, as a community organizer. Collaborative programming through relationships of businesses in our community can help generate partnerships through cross promotion. This includes the Rotary Club, Seeking information through monitoring the changes in our community population <clears throat> and reaching out to randomly selected patrons has helped us to better understand our community, their needs, and the direction we need to head in to succeed. Using our board of trustees, staff, <clears throat> and various volunteers has allowed us to collect data at a relatively low cost, but it was ex an extremely, um, it was quite an undertaking that needed to be fine-tuned. All participants must be trained, particularly community volunteers, in communicating with randomly selected patrons. <clears throat> While many libraries choose to outsource on a project of this immensity, the Shemble Library found it most cost-effective to rely on the efforts of our community to conduct these surveys. This task, although challenging, was ultimately a successful one. <coughs> although we've experienced success in our programming and attendance rates, we will face challenges in the future. As information becomes increasingly digital, Many fail to see that the purpose 
of a physical library and what it can serve. <coughs> Excuse me. In the near future, we've decided to focus on achieving these several goals. Because of the environmental scan, we've altered our marketing strategy to highlight the library as a social space and distance ourselves from the outdated idea of libraries of, as a quiet study or research space. We've also altered our budget to acquire <clears throat> to a lot more money to be used towards the purchase of multicultural and foreign language materials <clears throat> in anticipation of a steadily diversifying community. <coughs> We've incorporated more STEM programming for children and teens and worked towards acquiring new technology for patrons of all ages to enjoy. <coughs> Scanning sites that could help your Rotary Club. Trendwatching.com Faithpopcorn.com Nowandnext.com <clears throat> the Acme Rotary Club and the Shemble Library. <coughs> Excuse me. The Rotary Club is another non-for-profit organization that filled uh, filled with proud members who are dedicated to their communities. Rotarians have ri risen to the challenge, addressing issues of literacy <clears throat> throughout the month of March for the Rotary's annual Literacy Month, an issue which is close to the library's heart. Because of our vested interests regarding the Shemble community, the Rotary Club and the Shemble Public Library are ideal partners to foster growth and development in our beloved town. <clears throat> Conducting an environmental scan helped us better understand the steps we need to take to ensure our library has a place in this town's future. <clears throat> Understanding our community and its needs are the first step, and fostering strong bonds between organizations that would uplift our residents is next. And you can do it too. <clears throat>